Hi, welcome to video number five. We're talking about hashes this time. Um, so associative arrays, maps, hashes, um, all generally mean the same thing. And what it kind of is, it's it's like an array, but it's, it's an array that instead of um, getting the values from the inside using an index number, you use a key to access your values. Um, so that that's the so the key replaces the index, and that's how you get to your um, your data uh, in Perl. Hashes are specified using the percent sign. So let's take a look. So like an array, we can declare an empty hash just like this. Except for this time, we're using the percent sign instead of an at sign. Um, and then what we do is we come down and we can place a key into the table, so yao, yeah, um, and then we can make that equal um, some value. Um, you can, if you wish, make that value point to a scalar, an array, or another hash if you want. Um, so, although they can get a little bit confusing. Um, this this is what you want to do. Um, so instead of um, hash table um, or instead of array um, square bracket zero equals statistics, you would you just do um, hash table curly bracket yow equals statistics. Um, you can do it for the rest of them. Do it how you want. Um, then if you want to go through and find out what your keys are, um, use the um, keys command to um, create an array of keys and then we can go through each key and we can print out the values uh, for each one. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, here's just the code again. And it goes through and it um, prints out our key and it prints out our um, prints out our values. But the thing to notice about here is that um, it's not coming out in the order that we put it in. As we can see, the first one that we put in was Yao, um, but Yao is the next to the last one down here. Next to the last one down here. First one up here. So it, it doesn't have the um, ordered elements that we would, uh, would expect from an array. Um, so things that you can do for that is um, sort your keys if you wish, or um, you can just remember which way you, you put it in. But that's not really the idea of the hash. The hash is just the, the key value pairing. So when you, when you have your key, you can get the, the value that you want. Um, so here's a little bit more complex of a um, code. So I'm going to switch over to um, Eclipse to go through this. Um, so here it is. Um, we've got a, an array of numbers. Um, remember, um, PW just uh, splits everything up for spaces. Um, and now we've got a brand new hash table. Now we're going to go through the numbers array, and we're going to, for each member of the num, num array, we're going to check to see if that number exists as a key. If it doesn't, we're going to set that number to zero, um, showing that we we now want this um, hash key to exist. So next, we're going to take that um, number, and we're going to go to that, that hash key, and we're going to increment the 0 up to 1. Um, so now we can get a sort of list of unique numbers, um, as I was mentioning previously, that um, we can first get our array of numbers here using the key command and then the hash table. And then we can sort the unique numbers um, to put it into an order that we want it to be in. Um, and then we're just going to reuse our for each um, loop 
and we're going to, for every number in unique numbers, we're going to print out the number and how many times it happened in our table. So let's run that. So we've got zero once. There it is. We've got one four times. You can pause this and look it up if you wish. Um, and it goes through down and down and down and down like that. So I'm afraid there's not a lot I have to say about hash tables about keeping it very simple. Um, there is more to know and you can go ahead and look at additional resources if you wish. But for now, go ahead and take a look at the um, example or the exercises in the book. Um, again, I will put the link to the book for both my my website and for the University of Oxford's IT portfolio site, and you can download it from either spot. All right, great. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.